أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Introduction to AMOS IBM SPSS AMOS Series 4 AMOS AMOS stands for Analysis of Moment Structures Moment Structures refer to means, variance and covariance AMOS is a program tied to SPSS that uses a graphical user interface for input AMOS software could be utilized to explore a statistical relationship among the items of each construct, that is your measurement model, and to assess the relationship between constructs, that is your structural model. Now using AMOS, the researcher can specify, estimate, assess, and present the model in a causal path diagram to show the hypothesized relationship among the constructs of interest. The empirical model can be tested against the hypothesized model for goodness of fit. So you can test whether your data actually fits your model or not. Now if the researcher found any path that does not fit with the original model, they could either modify the path to improve the fitness of the model or remove that particular path completely from the hypothesized model to improve the model fit. Now there are different diagrams and symbols that one has to understand before using AMOS. SEM uses diagrams to denote relationships that are to be tested. It is important that you understand what these diagram symbols mean because AMOS is going to make you draw out your conceptual model. One of the frustrating aspects of SEM is that there are often multiple terms that mean exactly the same thing. You can read uh, these uh, three different books on all these three different terms mean the same thing. So you are reading three different books, maybe th four or five, and you, you are reading a research article. And they are using uh, different terms, but they actually mean the same thing. Hence, the overlapping terms here add greater clarity to the different uh, nomenclature. Now, what are those terminologies? Latent variable or construct. A latent variable is also referred to as unobservable. This is a concept that cannot be directly observed. It would be nice to just look at someone and tell his her level of anxiety. But the fact is some people are great at hiding their feelings. In these instances, we cannot simply observe a person and determine level of anxiety. Thus, the concepts such as anxiety are unobservable and require the researcher to find a way to capture the concept by other means such as asking survey question. This is similar to asking about, let's say, job satisfaction or maybe organizational commitment. What we normally do in survey-based research is that in order to measure organizational commitment or job satisfaction, we might ask the respondent to provide responses to four or five different questions or statements or items. Now those items, they actually represent the underlying construct, that is your latent variable. So that latent variable construct is your organizational commitment that is unobservable and that is observed using those four or five items. Now this is pretty normal as we do this in our survey based research. Normally what we have is we have a construct and in order to measure that construct, we have got four or five or six or seven items. Sometimes the, all those items are divided into or grouped into dimensions. And those dimensions are representing the underlying construct. Those dimensions by themselves are unobserved and they are observed through four or five, six items. You will also see the term factors used when referring to latent unobserved constructs. Examples of unobserved construct in psychology may include anxiety, motivation, trust, or organizational commitment, job satisfaction. These unobservable constructs are often measured by indicators, as I mentioned earlier, or measurement items. Now, both of these terms are interchangeable. And they take the form of survey questions. For example, you might ask survey questions, that is your indicators to measure the consumer's level of trust within the company, which is unobservable. Now, in order to show unobservable construct, we've got these symbols and these diagrams actually 
these oval diagrams or circle diagrams they are actually representing the unobservable latent construct what are observed variable or indicators now as the name denotes measures are taken to capture unobservable construct through observable means this can be done through survey questions manipulations or behavioral tracking now this concept is also referred to as manifest variables or reference variables these are another or other interchangeable terms that are used to show observable variable or indicators you will often see them or you will also see terms like items or indicators used for observable measures or variables in a sense observed variables or indicators are the raw data captured that will be used to explain the concepts in scm model these observed variables indicators can be categorical ordinal or continuous now how do you show them in amos you use this square or rectangle so what is this this is your error term so measurement error or residual term the measurement error represents the unexplained variance by an indicator measuring its respective latent construct so a particular latent construct might be measured using four or five manifest variables or items or indicators so each of the manifest variable or indicator will have an error term so that manifest variable may be explaining some variance in the latent construct but there could be some unexplained variance as well this error term will indicate the unexplained variance now in order to try or in order to capture the unobservable construct with a measurement indicator the unexplained variance in the measurement is the error or measurement error something that is not explained along with the indicator an error term is also present on the latent dependent variable so whenever you have got a dependent variable that will have an error term as well because some of the variance may be explained by the predictors whereas some of the the variance may be unexplained so that is also represented by the error term now this is the unexplained variance on the construct level so when you add your error term to the dependent variable this is your unexplained variance on the construct level whereas earlier if it's with the indicator it is unexplained variance on the indicator level error term for latent variables are also called residual terms or disturbance terms since measurement error and residual terms represent unexplained variance amos treats these terms like unobserved variables thus the symbol for these error terms are a circle and one way arrow like this now some other terminologies so direct path effect so when we are assessing the impact of an iv on dv or an exogenous variable on the endogenous variable we link these variables these constructs these factors through this single headed arrow whereas this double headed arrow here it draws the covariance between different constructs the amount of change in one variable that is consistently related to the change in another variable the degree to which the two variables change together on a reliable and consistent basis so this is one that we use this is the symbol that we use to draw covariance between two variables and this is central to amos because amos is a covariance based software now when we want to link an independent exogenous variable with the dependent endogenous variable this is how we do this is your independent variable this is your dependent variable where x is influencing y and we see a single headed arrow now this is a sample model in amos where your x1 is your in independent variable y is your dependent variable x1 is influencing y these are the indicators as we refer to as earlier so your x1 is your latent unobserved variable that is measured using these indicators and these are the error terms for unexplained variance similarly this and now see here we've got an error term for unexplained variance in the dependent variable y now note x1 and y x1 and y are latent construct in amos syntax latent constructs are represented by ellipses that is your oval or circle the latent construct x1 is measured using 
items x11 to x15 here whereas y is represented by y1 to y5. The measured items are represented by rectangles like this or squares in this case and these are called latent indicators because they are measuring the latent unobserved variable. This is your exogenous construct, this is your endogenous construct and these are your error terms. Now let's look at AMOS and see how or where we get these things. Now if you want to know further please refer to these books. So how do you run AMOS? I've just recently installed it. So here is what I'm interested in AMOS or IBM SPSS AMOS 28 graphics. So here is your AMOS program. If you look here this is your observed variable so you want to draw observed variable just click on it and press here and it will add if you want to change the size just resize by dragging or rather do not leave your left mouse key and see what size suits you if you want to remove them here is a cross symbol just select it and you can remove it like this so once you bring your cursor onto the shape it's highlighted in red just click and it will be removed because you've already selected the cross symbol here so in order to draw unobserved variable select unobserved variable you can click it and it will draw the shape or rather if you want to change the size just leave your left mouse button clicked and then drag and drop otherwise there is another way if you want to draw latent variable with the indicators just select this press it here and then keep pressing till you get your number of indicators so let's say I needed one two three four five six seven indicators so I'll press one more time here are your seven indicators and here are your error terms how do you add data or how do you add indicators to it we'll be doing uh, our first model shortly so you'll get to know that as well so this is your path single headed arrow double headed arrow error term if you want to draw separately in order to select these indicators or latent variables you can use these symbols now in order to move these objects you can use this move object or truck icon select it and here see you can move it but you want to move move the whole model together so preserve the symmetries this means that you want to move the whole model together select it and now see you can move the whole model together you want to move the indicators to the left and right what you do is you select this rotate the indicators of the latent variable and you can move them here like this you want to improve or you want to touch up for example sometimes what we do is let's say we've done something like this let's say this now look at this these lines here so you want to do some touch up so touch up variable and let's see see these are now arranged now there are different options and we will be looking at all these options as we go along so this is your input model and this is your once you run the model you can see the loadings and all these statistics by clicking this so this is your groups if you've got groups in your model this is your these are your models these are your estimates you want unstandardized or standardized estimates and this is your computation summary block and you will find other files if you've got in the directory where you've stored this file they will be listed here now you can change the size of the model by this and you can fit your diagram to the page like this there are different menu options it's always recommended to first save the file then run the file then you've got edit options you've got interface properties and you can change the layout from in like from portrait to landscape and you've got different options we'll be looking at these options as we go along so this is your amos uh, program which we will be using uh, to test our hypothesized relationships next video will be on uh, our first AMOS model thank you very much